This video is sponsored by Wix. Hi everyone! In this video, you will see me create my first online store. I got inspired after reading several experiences from self-made entrepreneurs online, and this made me curious on how it works, and I decided to make one and show you guys the whole process. The software I am going to use today is Wix.com. If you wish to enjoy the process of creating a website with me, the link is down in the description. From creating your website, adding products, and many more, this step-by-step -step tutorial video will introduce you to the world of e-commerce. For those who does not know what an e-commerce business is, it is the activity of buying or selling products on online services or over the internet. And online shopping is growing so fast that it is predicted to nearly double from 2017 to the year of 2023. So without further ado, let's begin the video. The first step is to come up with ideas and brainstorm. That means the type of shop, the name of your shop, and what products are you going to sell for your shop. I will attempt to try to open an online t-shirt store. As for the name of my online shop, I will be naming it Nippon Street. Nippon Street is a shop that is dedicated to Japanese art and culture designs on t-shirts. I chose this niche because I really, really, really want to go to Japan someday. This is kind of a form of manifestation that hopefully it will come true. I also double checked to see if this shop name has any trademarks and I'm glad it does not. If you wish to bring your e-commerce brand to the next level, you can also create your logo with Wix Logo Maker, if not, also use the business name generator to get the perfect name for your brand. Step 2. Create your account with Wix. Just click the link down in the description and click Get Started. You can log in using your Facebook or your Google account. If it is your first time creating a website using Wix, you are required to answer some simple questions before reaching the template portion. However, if it is your second time on creating a website, you would expect to see this page. This is one of my favorite parts when using Wix because it is very efficient when it comes to choosing the type of business you wish to open online. After clicking and designing the type of business you wish to open online, click on Edit a Template. You can choose from any of the fully customizable online store templates and customize the design using the Wix editor. What's amazing about Wix's online store templates is that you can choose to edit it just as it is. For example, I would like to check this one out. You have the option to edit it directly or view the full demonstration. I want to see the demonstration myself, so I click this one first. I explored the website by looking through at its shops and products, and I'm very impressed of how well guided you are in making your online business. Another cool feature when editing your website with Wix is that it is mobile friendly. You can also see on a mobile perspective of the website and edit it too. Let's say I want this template for my online t-shirt store. So I click on the upper right edit this site. As soon as you click it, you are introduced with the editing tools. However, since this is my first time creating an online store, I find it quite overwhelming so I decided to start from scratch. That means I will be choosing a blank template. Among the many choices, I decided to start with a minimal layout. Since this is still my first attempt in making an online store, I decided to start small and safe. Once you have clicked edit this site, now let's proceed to step 3 and start designing our online store. First things first, I'm going to input the name of my store. You can also adjust the font size and the font color. After, I'm going to remove some pages that are not needed for my shop. In this case, I'm going to delete the gallery page and also the video page. To delete a page, just click on the circle and then press the delete button. I'll start off by designing the home page. After inputting the shop name, I arrange and align the icons properly. As you can see here, the login bar and the shopping cart icon is not in line, so I just simply dragged and dropped it. If you wish to change the appearance of the login bar or the cart icon, 
Just click on the objects and then click settings and from there you are given the freedom to choose whatever icon or settings you want. I also gave my menu bar a bit of color, as what you can see in the screen. If you are not pleased with the theme of your online store, don't worry because there is a tool dedicated to that and that is the theme manager. Just click on it and you can choose a new theme for your shop. Take your time in choosing the color for your store. In my case, I still want to make my store prettier, so I added a background. I wanted to go for a neutral minimalistic color, so I decided to pick this one. Now my shop is starting to look a bit better. You can also add images to the website. You notice there is a big blank picture in the middle of the page. Just double click on it and click manage media. From here, you can either choose a photo from Wix Pro Gallery or you can upload from your own computer. I clicked upload media for I have prepared a photo fitting in the home page. I adjusted the tile and description and click done. Just polishing some details and my home page is done. I'm not gonna lie, I think the home page seems pretty okay for a beginner's level. If you want to see a preview of your shop, just click on the preview on the upper right. With my homepage done, I also started to edit the about and contact information of my t-shirt online store. Step 4. Adding products. With Wix, you can upload your own physical or digital products or find products to sell online with drop shipping and print-on-demand services. To start in adding your products, just click on the site pages and click on shop. From here, you will arrive on the products page and double-click it and click Manage Products. You will be redirected to the dashboard of your website and from here you can see all the products present. Since I am solely focusing on t-shirts, I will select all and delete it. Just like that. Next, I'll click on New Product on the upper right, click on Physical, and then Add Images. I already prepared several mockups on my computer to make this process faster. So I upload from my computer, select everything, and just upload it. I am making sure that the artworks looks presentable. Now that all products have been uploaded, I just choose one and add to page. From here, I edit its product infos. From the name of the product, the price of the product, and the description of the product. Once done, just click on save on the upper right and get ready to do the process all over again. This part is probably the most challenging one for me. You might also be wondering how am I going to manage all these orders from customers? Well, I also connected a fulfillment service because this is where all the upcoming orders are gonna come in and they will take care in delivering it to my customers. With my products now in place on my online store, the next step is to connect to a secure payment provider and set up shipping. The moment you uploaded your first product on your website, you will receive a notification from the Wix dashboard. As you can see here, it says the next step is to set up payment methods. Wix allows two forms of payments, through credit or debit cards or connecting through PayPal. Among these two, I chose PayPal because it is the fastest and easiest to connect. Now all I need is to input my account information and click connect. You will then be redirected to your PayPal page for you to log in to complete the connection. You also need to confirm your email to activate your account. Once done, just click on to go back to Wix.com. And you can see that your Wix dashboard has updated that PayPal is now connected to your website. After connecting to a secure payment provider, up next is to set up your shipping. Don't worry for you will still be guided by Wix. This part is very quick to understand. You just have to apply which shipping regions you are gonna enable. In my case, I only want to focus first on domestic for this is still my first time creating an online t-shirt store. From here, I edited my shipping rule. From how the shipping is calculated to the shipping option name to the delivery time and rate. If you wish to edit your payment methods or your shipping rules, just go back to the editing tool and click on My Store. 
After completing the payment and shipping options, you can also set up abandoned cart emails to re-engage with shoppers and encourage them to complete their purchases. Did you know that Wix sites with active automation like abandoned cart emails get 2.7 times more visitors and 3.3 times higher turnover? You can enable the abandoned cart email by going to the Wix dashboard and click the CRM tools and click Automation. From here, click on Email Visitors to Recover Abandoned Carts. And I'm just going to keep it as it is and then click on Activate. And now it's time to set up your sales tax. Go back to your Wix dashboard then click on Settings. Under E-commerce and Finance, click on Tax. The process is very straightforward, just add the country. And doing this, you get automated sales tax calculation for your products. This process was very well handled by the Avalara tax tool. Step 7. Get a branded domain. This is a customized domain that the person or company has purchased for themselves or their business. I recommend to get a domain name that matches your retail brand or connect the one you already own. In my case, I decided to name mine Nippon Street. Step 8. Maximize your online store, SEO, and traffic. Did you know that Wix sites that complete SEO setup receive 2 times more visitors and 1.3 times higher turnover? You can get your personalized SEO plan with Wix SEO Wiz. You can enable this while editing your website. Click on Home, then click on SEO Basics. From here, you can edit the URL, the title, and the description. You can also click on Go to SEO Wiz and it redirects you again to your Wix dashboard. Take your time and make sure all the check marks are colored green. This will tell Google that these pages are part of an online store and give them the best chance of ranking in the search engine results. Step 9. It's time to publish your website. If you are fully satisfied of how your online store works and looks, you can already publish it. But before you do that, Make sure that your online store is also mobile-friendly. You can also manage your online store on the go from any device with the Wix mobile app. From here, you can add products, view orders, track shipping, manage inventory, chat with shoppers, offer coupons, and so much more. Good job in making it this far! If you think publishing your online store was the last step, well, you are mistaken. In fact, this was all made possible by Wix's business and e-commerce plan, and this marks as the 10th and final step. Well, in order to accept online payments, you need to have a Wix and business and e-commerce premium plan. You can choose a premium plan that works for your online store. Which part of creating the online store was your favorite part? Mine was definitely the designing process. How about you? Let me know down in the comments. If you are not able to join with me in creating an online store, the link will still be placed down in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video all throughout and if you continue to wish to support me to my channel, simply give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. That is all for this video and see you in the next one.